got it. So, Eric, I guess uh, just first off for you, what's it like to have the opportunity to be here and to experience this? It's fun. Um, you see all the players talk to these guys. Um, you know, it got a little more casual, obviously, than going on games and everything. So uh, it's a good experience. What? How would you say your role has changed just from the time that you first got on campus as a freshman and first was able to take the floor up until now? Um, you know, right away it was kind of – I don't think many guys knew. There were, our roles were kind of different my freshman year. Just the team was so much different. Um, mm -hmm. You know, right now I'm – I think I'm locked in at a three position, and I, and I really like that. So, um, you know, it's more stable. I know what I got to do in the games, and it's more focused on defense and uh, rebounding and little things. How difficult was that transition for you, it's in particular when you were going through the coaching change? Um, you know, I, it was it was difficult, but if I knew it was going to make us more successful, it made it a lot easier. You know, winning more games last year, that makes it a lot easier. I don't, you know, I don't care how many minutes you play. If you win 10 games, that's not fun. Nobody wants to do that. So, um, I mean, definitely winning games. That's that's what it's all about. So, what do you feel you've learned that makes you a better player today? Slowing down. Coach has been telling me that for these guys for three years. Slowing down my game and just uh, being patient. That's when I play my best. Um, just having a better pace. Uh, I think that just comes with with playing the game longer and not being so antsy when you get in. What ways would you say you've been able to do that? Like, or is there anything that you do specifically that? Um, yeah, I mean, I think when I catch the ball, it's just more patient, trying to face up instead of getting in, trying to rip and go right away. That's what I did freshman year. Is I, I thought if I don't get the guy in the first move, I'm not going to get a get to the basket. But um, you catch the ball, slow down, turn and face, and it's made a big difference. You know, as a team captain, where do you feel your, or I guess in what ways would you say that your responsibilities have elevated? Um, every, you know, in every way, on the court, off the court, um, team meetings, everything. It's it's a whole different ballpark when you guys look up to you. You got to, you know, help the help the new guys, um, let guys know what they need to do. So, um, you know, I. I kind of had that last year, but this year it's a whole other level. What was that moment like for you when you met with Coach McCaffrey and he first told you, hey, you're going to be a team captain? I was excited. Um, last year, you know, we had great captain in Matt, and, um, and I really learned a lot from him. And I was I was pumped to, to, get, that, to get that honor. You know, it's an honor to get that from Coach. And, uh, I look forward to leading the team. What, what you, you said you watched Matt. Where, where did you kind of pick up from him as Just far as putting you? His work ethic, how he how he approached every day in practice. I mean, he never took a day off, and uh, it showed. It showed later in the season that. Just the, the effort he put in and how he pushed guys made a huge difference. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, if I were to play a little word or name association with you here, uh, when you see Devin Marble, what's the first thought that kind of comes to your mind? He's a scorer. He's a player. I'm, I mean, I'm glad he's on my team because he's a he's an exciting guy to play with. He he helps everybody, makes everybody better on the court, uh, gets you open, and he brings energy. I think he's been working on. It. He's been increasing his energy and his he's more forward, which is uh, great to see. Fran McCaffrey, just uh, a winner. It's great. Uh, I mean, every day he comes, he he brings it too, and that's you know that's something. He always brings energy, and he expects you to match it, um, which is great because that elevates our team in, in a huge way. Uh, Adam Woodbury, yes, hard worker. Um, I mean, he, I, I like, I like Woody a lot. He's, uh, you know, he, he's determined. He works hard, and um, and he, I think he's mature, really mature for a freshman. He, he knows. He knows where to be on the court, and he's he's vocal, as vocal as a freshman's ever been. Along the same lines, Mike Cassell. You know, same thing. This guy gets in the gym, he works, and uh, and he knows the game as well. I mean, it's it's great to see freshmen come in that are that that seem like they're a step ahead of of uh, of what freshmen might usually be. I'm not saying last year our freshmen were great. We've always had you know good incoming players, but you see freshmen around the nation that seem timid. These guys aren't. Now, just in general, the Big Ten. Big Ten, it's you know, 
it's fun. I can't wait for Big Ten season. You get you get good games every single game. Uh, you're playing great players, and, and that's what it's about is is playing these guys. You know, we got Big Ten Network. We get to play on that. People are watching the games. I can't wait. Now, these, you're two weeks into practices. How would you say it's gone to this point? Where are some of the observations you've been able to make? We've been uh, after it's been there every day. Um, you know, as as the practices go on, you get deeper into the season. We still got to keep pushing each other to concentrate more, uh, mental mental focus every day. But we've been doing a great job. I've been I've been pleased. I've been excited to go to practice every day. I mean. I think everybody has, and that's the way it's got to be. Now, last Friday you had that black and gold blot, and you had some time to kind of reflect back on it. Now, what did it mean for you to just be able to look around and, and see a crowd probably as big as some of the games that you had, like, early in your career? Right, right. I mean, it was they did a great job with that. Um, I was. I think everybody was was so so excited when they got there. You know, we didn't know what to expect, what the crowd was going to be like, and, and uh, you know, they blew it out of the water there because – they, they did it right and see the crowd get into it, see see how much energy there is, and this is before any games or anything. It's awesome. Have you gotten a lot of feedback about that dunk you had? Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten some talk. I mean I've gotten more feedback from Gabe complaining <laughs> why he didn't win, so um, but that's up for debate. <laughs> <laughs> what for you now entering your senior season, what are I guess the goals that you have set for yourself? Um, you know, just to to affect the game. Any way that that is affect the game every time I'm in there. Um, can't just be a shadow on the court. You gotta, you really gotta get in there. We got a lot of guys that can play. If you're not affecting the game, then you're not gonna play. And um, that's what I, I mean. That's what I want to do. If it's rebounding, if it's scoring, if it's shooting, if it's defense, I mean that's what it's gonna be. So last year, you guys had a winning record. You got to the NIT. What are What's the potential with this team? Is this a team that has a realistic shot at making the NCAA tournament in your mind? From what that's, you... Absolutely. That's what's on all our minds. I mean, if, if the goal's not set at that, then mm -hmm. there's no reason to be on the team because we, uh, you know, that's, we're set, you know, we set our goals high. Mm -hmm. you know, a winning season isn't, isn't enough. Um, you know, a couple, one win in the NIT is enough. We want to go deep in the NCAA tournament and, and uh, really make some things happen.